Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to give a review of this very low cost uh, QNAP TS230 uh, 2 bay NAS enclosure. Um, it sells for $150 at Autorama. So this is a very low cost device. Um, first I want to talk about hardware. So it has a quad core 1.4 gigahertz CPU and 2 um, GB of DDR4 RAM. So for $150 that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, apparently it has also the USB port and also the Ethernet port. I don't know why it has a USB 2.0. Doesn't make sense at all because uh, this one does not need any keyboard or mouse or anything. So, not sure what this is for. Um, there's also the power input. Um, so the case is metal. There's a fan, and uh, it's very easy to um, open it up. Um, there's just one screw, which I unscrewed with a dime, the 10 cent uh, US coin. Uh, to installing the hard drive and etc takes like five minutes super super easy one screw you plug in the hard drive there are three screws on each hard drive it's a just to screw them on and push them back you're done uh, by the way these black thing the rack um, hard drive rack looks like a uh, metal but they're plastic uh, but for 150 dollars i have no complaints and also the modern plastics are pretty good high quality uh. and once you install the hard drive you put the case back on and screw it back and plug in the power and connect the ethernet cable here um, you turn on the power you're all set uh, on the hardware part uh, the software is also fairly easy to handle it's very easy to use um, of course i assume that you know a thing or two about the this kind of like what is rate one and stuff otherwise during the setup if you don't understand the technical terms you will be confused um, oh by the way when i showed you the photo uh I almost forget forgot to mention this photo shows two hard drives and uh, they're not including the hundred fifty dollars the hundred fifty dollars just for the CPU RAM and stuff for the case so these two hard drives are kind of misleading from um, Autorama's website you have to buy your own hard drives I think the current uh, price as of August 22 2020 is about twenty five dollars per terabyte uh, it's not bad at all um, 25 bucks per terabyte if you buy a couple terabyte for family uh, small business you probably are good yeah unless you make a lot of videos uh, family videos uh, I don't think you were yeah a few terabytes should be more than enough um, now to install the software you need to search for uh, this guy um, QNAP Q finder depending on your operating system you have windows installation mac installation ubuntu and also chrome um, because i use fedora so i installed the chrome version it's a chrome extension after installation if i look at the applications there this guy qnav q finder um, so it's already installed um, so you can install any version based on your operating system so once you launch the Q Finder, you will be able to search for the devices and you will find your device on your home network. Then you need to spend a little bit of time um, on initialization, depending on hard drive size. Uh, of course, you want to set up the RAID 1 system uh, because this two bay NAS system, apparently it is intended for RAID 1. Uh, you want one drive to be the mirror image of the other. So if one guy screws up, the other guy still have all the files intact and after the initial setup process you can click on this uh, device and uh, um, do some tweaking for example here uh, is the control panel of your device and uh, you can do some like uh, if you want to map a network drive you can do it here uh, with very simple steps uh, i will not go to the details and uh, because it's very easy yeah, very easy if you uh, open your file explorer you will be able to see uh, your device here uh, you can access the device you will see all the folders and you can also map individual folders uh, because uh, there are multiple family members in my household and uh, me and my wife we use different folders um, by the way my wife is a lawyer she also uses a yeah much more expensive commercial cloud service obviously this is just for family files we do not mix uh, work in a family yeah okay so this is basically it it's very simple um i think this device is definitely worth 150 dollars uh, easy to set up easy to use and uh, with this guy set up you can have a very low cost uh, shared drive solution uh, previously this kind of solution is only available to businesses 
they have expensive file servers um, the software proprietary you have to pay to serve the hard drives you have to pay to access the hard drives now everything's free software is free the part where is like 150 bucks uh you throw in a couple hundred dollars you get a terabytes of storage so this is a pretty good solution okay that's my review thank you